Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. I'll try to make this short today because I'm really angry, and I've been really angry for the past day or so about something, and I've, I'm angry because our Commander-in-Chief has called uh, the military service members, me being a retired military service member, he's called us all suckers and losers. Now, to give some context, apparently he, our commander in chief, uh, was supposed to visit some graves of soldiers, service members who had died and he did not want to get his hair wet and he remarked that they were losers and suckers for joining the military and fighting and dying in a war so it's not easy for me to make a video like this without getting into an extraordinarily large amount of trouble uh, because i am a federal employee still but i will say this um, I am not a loser or a sucker. Nowhere on my DD-214 does it say loser or sucker. It says that I served honorably. And I have more than one DD-214 that says that. I've been around. And there are others, millions, who have served, died, and who will serve. Currently, my child serves in the United States military, and she's not a loser or a sucker, and neither are they. No one that serves in the military is a loser or a sucker. Some of us aren't the best. We make mistakes like anyone else, but none of us are losers and suckers for serving our country. I will say that I never shirked my responsibility to my country. I never had to get a deferment for bone spurs, heel spurs, elbow spurs, no kind of spurs, not even spurs on my boots, but I never got any kind of deferments so that I could shirk my duty to my country. I served and so did others, and some of us are still serving. If any of you out there have veterans in your family, and this does not offend piss you off or affect you in any way. I don't know what can be said to you. I know what can be said about you, but I don't know what can be said to you to make you see how that that is a problem. Because I'm not a loser or a sucker. And neither are my fellow veterans. None of my brothers and sisters that serve or served in the military are losers or suckers. Losers get people to go to other states and talk them into shooting and murdering other people who are protesting. Losers say that people are fine people when they are racist, white supremacists, killing protesters. That's a loser. A sucker is the person that gets talked into doing those things. So you let me know who the losers and suckers really are because it's not the people who are serving and protecting the United States. It's not those who have sworn an oath to serve, support, defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. If you feel that we're losers and suckers, and you know who you are, because you said it, feel free to pick up a weapon, put on a uniform, you know, cinch up your bone spurs, and go overseas, and do some fighting. Get up in the morning at 4 or 5 a.m., get your uniform together, do some PT, eat some crappy ass chow, grab your MREs, lace your boots up, go run some miles. But don't forget your weapon and all your gear for battle rattle and take your ass overseas and earn the title that you have because you haven't earned it. If you haven't done those things, you haven't earned it. You're just posing. For us who have actually earned it, you should never ever utter anything negative about people who have served this country. You should keep your mouth shut because it is us who keep you warm and safe at night. 
so that you can sleep well in your nice, comfortable, cushy bed. It's us. We do that. And we'll continue to do that. So, if you got something bad to say about us veterans, I would probably keep it to myself. Because I think we're the last people that you want to not have your back. Because we always have everyone in this country's back. Because that's our job. So, find someone else who's losers and suckers. I know quite a few of them. You might want to start, um, I don't know, start with Mr. Rittenhouse. Pretty sure he's a sucker. And he's possibly a loser too. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, have a great evening. Stay safe. Don't forget to take care of yourself. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. Don't forget social distancing because COVID is still a thing. It's not a hoax. And even though the numbers aren't being given to us, I'm a nurse working in the healthcare profession and I know it's a lot higher than what they're telling us because I'm seeing it every day. And don't forget, please, by all means, be the best heathens that you can be. And good night.